The following screencast will provide you with a demonstration of Acknowledge's Find Cycle Peak Detector utility. The Find Cycle Peak Detector feature is located in the Analysis menu. It's an extremely flexible tool that allows you to identify peaks or parts of waveforms to place event markers within the data to automatically take measurements at specific points within a signal or on other channels and also to average and view the data in different formats. This particular introdu introduction will go through some of the basics of the cycle detector and show how the system can be used for taking measurements for further analysis. I'm going to zoom in a little. I'm using an ECG waveform. because it has nice convenient peaks that we can use to demonstrate and look at some of the features in the software. Rather than going to the analysis menu, there is a toolbar icon. I'm going to select that. The first thing you'll notice about the cycle detector dialog box is that it's multi-tabbed. And if you work through the tabs in chronological order, you should be able to get the system working the way you want. There's also feedback on the uh, waveform and also a summary view in some of the um, dialogues or some portions of the dialogue. The first thing you're asked to do is to locate an event. So I'm going to back up a little bit to make it a little bit easier. Highlight one typical cycle. Go back into my menu and I'm going to locate a peak within um, my data file. I've only got one channel of, EC of data which is the ECG and my peak is positive going, it's uh, pointing up. You can also do the opposite, look for negative going events, but in this case the ECGR wave is positive going. And I'm going to allow the software to take a measurement, um, set a threshold rather, based on the area that I have selected. There are three different modes for identifying um, peaks. The first is a fixed threshold, so in this case the software will use 1.27914 millivolts as a fixed threshold, so any time the ECG waveform crosses that threshold it will be recognized as a peak. You can also use tracking modes. The easiest and simplest is to set a percentage of the peak value. So if the peak value is 2 millivolts, the threshold for the next, um, the next event will be set at 90% of the 2 millivolts. There's also a mode whereby the system will locate the peak, look at the mean value and set the threshold as a percentage of that mean value. And for this particular example we're going to use fixed. So that's all you have to do on this first section of the dialogue. Next thing we're going to do is advance to the selection tab. Now you can see down below we now have a view of what we're looking at. To simplify things, I'm going to use current peak. And now 
we've got a faint line appearing over the top of our ECGR wave and you can see that in the acknowledge graph window and in the view down below here. I can ask the software to just back up a minute find this first cycle. So now we can see a cursor blinking over the top of the first peak that we found. And I can ask the software to advance through so you can see the cursor's jumping from one R wave to the next. One of the nice things about the peak detector is its ability to take a measurement. So I'm going to turn my measurement boxes on I'm going to turn some of these off. I don't need them all for what we're going to be doing. I'm going to set the first one to time and the second one to value. What I want the software to do is go through my data, taking the value of the peak and giving me the time at which that measurement was taken. Now if we go back into the dialog, there is an option over here that will allow me to paste those measurements down into a journal file. And I'm going to say, OK, I'm going to come in and select all of the data come back in and say find all cycles cycles couples it's now asking me to create a journal or open a new journal I say yes and there we have it the software has run through and given me the time and the value for 207 waveforms this is the entire length of my file. I'm going to clear my clear my journal clear my journal journal and put in the background. I'm going to make a very slight change to what we've been doing. So far we've identified a peak, we've taken a couple of measurements and we've pasted them down into the journal file. Now what I'm going to do is ask the system to place a mark at the point where the measurement was taken. So we're going to output an event and event one is going to happen at the maximum point, the peak, for channel one ECG and we are going to use a star and we're going to paste the star on the top of the waveform. I'm going to turn this one off. I only need one event. And select all. So I've selected all my data. Come back in and say find all cycles. So now not only have we pasted our measurements down into the journal file, but if we zoom in We'll see a star at the peak of each of these ECG waveforms. So as you can see, the system very easily allows you to take measurements from specific points of interest, paste the data down to a journal or an Excel file, and also to mark the point where the measurement was taken. So this is going to conclude part one of our fine cycle detector demonstration.